I'm back at the Disneyland Resort to check up on the Avengers campus work, Tomorrowland and Fantasyland. So how about you and I dive right in? Let's start our adventure off with California Adventure. Let's see what's going on over here. Tickets for tonight's Pixar night are still available tonight. If you guys are going, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know how the event was. Here's this week's look at the Avengers Campus. You can see that they've added more details to the taller structure on the left-hand side of the project. And uh, I don't know if that's uh, another plastic piece or some more steel that's been added for detail. And you can see crews are working on another like pendulum looking thing, another truss system. So I don't know if that was gonna be uh, also used for the Spider-Man animatronic um, or if they're both just for show, but more than likely, I think if we're gonna see that stunt animatronic, they'll be flinging uh, to and from those two uh, areas. Maybe they might want use one in case another one doesn't work. Who knows, we'll find out obviously when the land opens up. And then uh, you can see ever so closely that they are adding details to the brickwork as far as uh, paint is concerned. So they're aging it, distressing it, making it look like it's been there for quite some time. But slowly but surely, we're seeing more and more details every week and it looks awesome. I do wonder though, if they're gonna paint that big uh, show building that, that's currently blue right now with the green uh, little hue on it. That's from It's Tough to Be a Bug. I wonder if they're gonna go ahead and paint that just all blue to blend in with the sky better or if they'll do something different with it. What's cool over here on Pixar Pier, they have an Onward bus to promote the new movie. Look at that, look how cool. It's a photo op, by the way, and they have lovely cast members out here to give you a hand. And of course, take a lovely photo with that amazing looking bus. Look at that unicorn, look at that. That is awesome. All right, how about we take a ride on the Pixar Pal around to get a view of the Avengers campus from the sky. As far as the Pixar Pal around is concerned, uh, some good views of the Avengers campus from up there. It's always a great view of that particular project during construction. You can see that they have added uh, more details th scattered throughout the entire land, especially on that building that's going to be in front of the e-ticket attraction, as well as the Ant-Man and Wasp restaurant, uh, restaurant that's going in, sorry. But yeah, lots of progress happening on the ground that unfortunately we can't see. And then of course, all the work happening behind Luigi's on that, uh, which I found out to be an office building so it's good that they're doing some consolidation back there and uh, that only means that they might be expanding this in the future we might see another uh, you know Avengers campus attraction hopefully another e-ticket attraction or uh, it doesn't have to be an e-ticket attraction actually it could be something smaller but three attractions would be fantastic all right we made it over to cars land to check up on the cozy cones let's do that right now so over at the Cozy Co Motel, don't worry, you can still order your food here, but they are refurbishing all the cones. I'm sure giving them a nice bright coat of orange paint because you can see uh, just from the umbrellas that they do get sun bleached pretty easily over time. So it's a nice opportunity to go in, do some work on them and make them look great for the summer. And then around the corner at Luigi's, you can get a good view of the Avengers campus from this angle. This is where that route is that takes you into the land. I'm sure they're gonna keep it because it's a good uh, pathway to get guests to and from the back area, the Hollywood land area to Cars Land pretty quickly and easily instead of having to walk all the way around. But this is a nice view of the current construction happening on that building that will uh, be probably the main entrance for the e-ticket attraction that's going right behind it next to Guardians of the Galaxy. You can see some more work just being added uh, on the exterior. A lot more details being added as they finish up the outside before they uh, finish up the interior as well. And speaking of Luigi's, you can see that the building that they're working on right behind its queue space is uh, shaping up pretty nicely. It looks like they're finishing some detail work before uh, they do the next step on the facade because I guess the facade's gonna look like uh, the Luigi's place uh, in general. So we were for a while, they weren't sure really what it was gonna look like, but judging from the details on the exterior uh, sheeting that they've put on behind the scaffolding there, it looks like it's gonna be just another version of Luigi's. Hi, we've made our way over to the Hollywood backlot area of California Adventure because I've heard that they've taken down the walls in front of Guardians of the Galaxy. So let's check out that and of course the work at the Hyperion Theater. Yep, and over here at the Hyperion Theater, you can see they're still working on painting that mural and make it all nice and vibrant. Should be uh, working towards the next final steps there. I would assume that the that that scrim has been taken down because it's been windy lately the past couple days and there's a storm coming in uh, in the next couple days here to Southern California. So that's probably why they've taken that down, but they're working slowly but surely on making that mural nice and beautiful. 
And wow, look at this over here at Guardians of the Galaxy. They've taken down the construction fence to reveal that it was just a paving project. Looks like they worked on some stuff for the trolley too. And they installed this drainage right here. But how fantastic. Now we don't have an obstructed view of this attraction anymore. We can just walk right up to it. And this is a nice little uh, tra ground transition, I would say, uh, into the Avengers campus, which is just right around the corner. Alrighty, so that's all the work over here at California Adventure. Uh, by the way, Food and Wine Festival is now through April 21st. Just as a heads up, tonight is Pixar night, so be sure to head up on the website to see what other nights they have here at California Adventure or at Disneyland. All the website will tell you that information. But as far as California Adventure, that is all the information I think I am seeing so far in the parks. Let's head over to Disneyland, but before we do that, if you're liking this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new and you love Disneyland content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so stay up to date on every time I post new videos. Now that that's out of the way, let's head over to Disneyland and check up on Fantasyland. And just as a heads up, they do have hand sanitizer stations throughout the entire park. And Christian's just giving us a little demo here of how to properly apply the hand sanitizer and prevent the spread of germs here at the Disneyland Resort. Look at that. Look, more. even more. Alrighty, we made it over to the happiest place of them all, Disneyland, where the population is 650 million. Well, here in Fantasyland, they're slowly but surely taking down the scaffolding that was around Bibbidi Boppity Boutique and the Snow White Scary Adventure to reveal a nice, fresh coat of paint. You see all the little details in the gold look fantastic. It looks great. And then as far as the front of the facade is concerned, it is looking fantastic. You can see the color scheme has changed ever so slightly. We get a little bit more of a tannish look and uh, those bricks are still those vibrant like purples and pinks might match the bricks that are alongside the rest of the castle. But we're nearing the completion mark here, probably in the next like month and a half or so, mid to late spring. We should be golden and ready to go. I'm so excited to see this. And over here at King Arthur's Carousel, they are still working on this attraction like they have been in the past couple of weeks. This is, again, just like Snow White, is under a lengthy refurbishment. But we're gonna head inside Royal Reception to check out some merch. Let's just give it a shot here. See all the Frozen 2 stuff they got. Ooh, look at this little guy right here. He is $14.99. Look, Stanley has his friend Mushu here. Look at that, brand new. He sits it? on your shoulder there and he's $19.99 and you do get an annual pass holder discount, which is really cool. But look at how cute that is. He's just chilling right there, having a great time. He's like the Porg and the... He can be friends um, with your group. Oh yeah, like, yeah. And look, here we go. Look at Mushu just hanging on. There he goes, going on his next adventure with Stanley. And look at this. Look who we have here in Fantasyland. We have Noodle Ducklings. For those wondering where you can get a Rise of the Resistance boarding pass other than Splash Mountain, it's right here in Tomorrowland where the Buzz Lightyear and Star Tours Fast Passes are. Super easy to find, it's right behind the Galactic Grill and right next to Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. And over here in Tomorrowland at the exit of Space Mountain, they're still working on the staircase on that second level there. But since the staircase is pretty much 90% complete, they should be taking down that wall upstairs and adding the handrail relatively soon. And over here at the top of the Mickey and Friends parking structure, as far as Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is concerned, they're not really doing anything as far as structural steel. It's just a lot of foundation work. Remember, they have to dig pretty deep in uh, order to get that structural steel uh, earthquake checked. So that probably won't happen for quite some time. It'll be a little bit while. But yeah, nonetheless, this will be our view for the next uh, you know, year and a half until this project is ready to go. This will be a good view uh, into that project. And of course, in Toontown, on top of Donald's boat, that'll be a good uh, view. But yeah, and also look at the backside of Galaxy's Edge here. You can see how huge the show building is for Rise of the Resistance. For those of you that don't, uh, don't know how big the building is. And fun little fact, you can easily fit Pirates of the Caribbean inside that show building. That's how massive Rise of the Resistance is. Over here in this corner right here, if you remember on the construction updates, that's where that big uh, stormtrooper room is. So just sort of in this section right here and then the rest of the attractions in the other half. But that's insane, huh? That one just part of the building is just for the queue. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you love Disney content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on every time I post new videos. I also have a buy me a coffee page, so if you wanna directly support Theme Park Obsession, all that money goes directly back into the channel and I would appreciate that 
so, so, so very much. I also have an Instagram page at Theme Park Obsession, so be sure to follow that because sometimes I post content there that I don't normally post here on YouTube. But other than that, hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.